Welcome back, not a fan. Sorry about the really long wait. We're waiting for Vanisha and Leffel to get their game done, and now they have. And congratulations to Leffel for having won that game. We're having Common Player versus Leffel now on Torn Islands Remake. Same map as last time with that tiny little choke point in the center. The Hourglass Island map. I'm not sure how Common Player will play this out. I haven't actually... I saw Common Player in the first game against Kmar, and it was kind of close until Common Player basically lost due to tactics. And then KMR won because they just had a unit advantage that they capitalized on. How that goes against Leffel, I have no idea since I have not seen Leffel play yet. Now, I don't think Leffel actually fought against Golda because of configuration issues, but Leffel has beaten everyone else they've gone to so far. Including Vanershaw, who we saw last time... Okay, admittedly, maybe it's not... I'm not sure if that says much, but we'll see how Leffel plays against Common Player. Because if Leffel plays, beats Common Player, then moves on to Daniil... Who knows? We'll see what happens. Luffle's been basically doing a pretty big streak through the loser's bracket so far. See if it stops with common player or if it continues along to the loser's finals. And now the game is starting. We have, well, just a couple of minutes to wait. Not minutes, what am I saying? Seconds. Off by a couple of orders of magnitude there. Okay. Game is beginning. We have, I believe, Common Player at the north side and Leffel at the south side. We'll see how that goes once they actually get ready. I also need to set this up because I forgot to do that. Anyway. So, we have Common Player and Leffel. Not, okay, Common Player is to the north. I was right. Leffel's to the south. Mildly confusing because player one's red, player two's blue, but whatever. So we're just waiting for common player to get that going. Trying to figure out the optimal position. I mean, we saw last time that it was Kmar had set up about here. And that actually worked out really well. Because, I mean, if you sacrifice this, you can get these two metal extractors. If you move, like, here, you lose this metal extractor in the back. You gain these two metal extractors in a more defensible position up front. And it looks like Leffel... Oh, wow. Leffel is going all the way to the corner. I don't understand this. Well, I can't... Let's see. Leffel... Okay, Leffel basically trying to just take one half of the island like this. I don't know if this is optimal, but then these islands are not symmetric, so I can't really judge. Easily. I have to really think about it. So Leffel is starting out in the southeast side. Let's see, Leffel is going on... Okay, just getting their builder going... Common player, on the other hand, also getting the builder we're going, just two metal extractors so far. Can't really say too much. Common player apparently being arm as they didn't want to be. We saw in the first game they were playing core, so I'm assuming that they're planning to play core in general. That is a bit of a mistake. We'll see if that costs them the game or not. Leffel going very quickly for a K- Wow! Really quickly for a K-Bot Lab. Two metal extractors in a K-Bot Lab. Leffel wants to win this right off from the looks of it. Going straight into Peewee. I don't even know, and right now, I mean, level is 8.8 .8 metal, and Common Player has 7.2 metal, and Common Player, not even close to getting a factory, I mean, the only saving grace is that the tower here is really powerful. The arm tower, not so much as the core tower, because the core tower has the instant hit laser, with the arm tower, it takes a little while for the missile to hit the target. But overall, wow, I mean... Leffel might be able to win this. It's a bit of an all-in, though. Leffel's probably going to want to get about a dozen or possibly even two dozen Peewees before moving in. But they have time. They have the time to do this. That's the thing. They have plenty of time, and they are... Actually, uh, wait, are they moving? They're moving with two! Uh, well, okay, I guess if you want to scout out, but that really does give away the fact that you've gone for a really, really, really early k -Bot lab. Like, insanely early k -Bot lab. I don't even know. And yes, Skazi, I am a voice in your head. It's not all I am, but it's one of the many things I am. I hold many jobs. One of which is being your schizophrenic delusions. I mean, honestly, could you ask for better delusions than me? I don't think so. And it looks like, well, we have our first missile coming in, and the Peewee... Survives two hits from a missile? Oh my goodness, you don't even need it. A dozen Peewees would win the game right now. I mean, it would take too long to get them, but yeah, at this point... Just move in! Attack! Kill everything! 
I mean, the second P was going to be able to come in and basically try to... Wow. The missile destroyed his own metal extractor. Well, that's... That's just great. Anyway, it looks like Leffel does actually have an economic disadvantage, though. Common player has been building up a stronger economy in the meantime, and now is getting their own Peewees in place. Now, it's, it will come down to whether or not Level can manage to work this out tactically. At this point, Level does not have any further economy being built, as just basically stabilized what they have for this one factory. Which makes sense, they want to build up as many Peewees as they can. And Level moving in, losing local advantage, in fact, losing one of the Peewees. Not even just the... Oh, wow. Yeah, they aren't even anywhere near local advantage. Now, at this point, defense has been successful. The only downside is these missiles are coming in in such a way that they end up doing friendly fire. Oh, not quite friendly fire. That's destroyed reclaim. Very nearly friendly fire, though. And 11 peewees coming in compared to, well, one hammer and four peewees. I, th I think that Leffel is going to be winning. I mean, Luffle is going to be... Okay, we have 14 Peewees coming in here. And Common Player... Oh, Common Player is moving out of range. The Zeus is going to be a bit of a saving grace, though. But otherwise, it's going to come down largely to tactics. If these Peewees ball up, it should be a win for Luffle. However, they are not balling up. They're instead going out in more of... Wow, why are they doing this? That's not really the arrangement I'd go for myself, but... Yeah, they are going for that, and they are moving in. The Peewees are attacking directly, and there is a they are forcing retreat, but of course that means the missiles might be fought, fired off pretty soon. And that hammer goes down. The Zeus also better go down pretty quickly. The Peewees, however, are moving back. They don't want to get killed by this. We are seeing a pretty strong retreat, and Luffle moving in with more Peewees. Oh, okay, I can't assume they're more... No, they are more Peewees. Actually, that's been fixed. Thanks, Carper. I think that bug was fixed. Okay, great. Carper actually uploaded a fix to the fact panel so that this would be a bit more reliable, at least on games other than 0k, and apparently it is! I can actually see what's going on. Great! So, going for another attack, I think at this point a flank is really what's called for right now. The Zeus taking a lot of damage with the Peewees. The Peewees running interference, that Zeus is not going to be killed out, although it looks like the Peewees for... The Peewees for Luffle are being pulled back into another group of Peewees. And that second group of Peewees is going to keep things going, but at this point, it's not going well. Left only has 11 Peewees, and there are 7 Peewees for Common Player, and Common Player is ahead economically. Common Player has... 50, oh no! Common Player's behind, actually. 15.3 metal, 257 energy, compared to 18.5 metal and 205 energy. So, at this point, level is still economically ahead, is militarily slightly ahead-ish, and overall, though, is doing very well. And just getting through the choke point, I mean, if, I think if Level were to go up and then to flank, actually, the other side, because you want to avoid the missile tower, but if Level went up and then flank, that would probably do it. But Level's not doing that, and actually, Level's not even paying attention right now. Okay, yeah, there we go, Level is, is Level moving up? Okay, Level needs to retreat a bit. But like I said, move up, move to the side, the Peewees can shoot relatively through each other, go for the flank, and it will basically win the game. Although, there's so many Zeus's now, I don't know. I think the chance may have gone away. We are seeing metal oh, metal extractor, that's not enough. And a second K-Bot factory for common player. Level, you don't build just Peewees. And now another Peewee coming in. That is going to probably be death for Level. I don't think Level's going to be able to win that. No, Level's wisely retreating, but has already lost about half a dozen Peewees in the process. That is a big blow. Level needs to start making type counters. And is going for a second K-Bot factory. Well, like I said, K-Bot, Peewee's coming in from the second K-Bot factory for Common Player, so Common Player will be able to equalize the numbers very shortly. And Common Player has a massive economic advantage, too, now, from Reclaim, thanks to this Fark over here, reclaiming the entire battle, and that is going to give the game to Common Player. Unless Level manages to get a type counter and manages to get in, get rid of those Farks, like, a bunch of Rockos would probably do the trick. A bunch of Rockos and Hammers would probably do the trick right now. Peewee's trying to move in, getting into a bit of a brawl, but unfortunately the Peewee's are not get away, and at this point, Leffel's thrown the game away, did not capitalize on the all-in they started out with, and even that one time before when those one Zeus and 11 Peewees, and they could have flanked it and killed them all off, that was not taken advantage of, that, some hammers coming in, but that's way too late. Common player is just going to steamroll Leffel, and that is the end of Leffel's story. You see, Leffel did do a lot getting through, but I think... Well, Luffle is...
So anyway, it looks like, yeah, common player's gonna go for it. Luffle, like, Luffle should've just balled up. One had a chance, balled at the Peewees, moved in, and that would be it. So at this point, common player, not quite going for the kill yet, they could. They very easily, like I said, a dozen Peewees before that Luffle had against common player could have won the game, probably. Two dozen Peewees, two Rockos, and three Zeus. Steamroll win. This is common player's game to lose right now. Although, nice box of death, trying to get that in there, trying to at least discourage attacks. And a vehicle factory being built up afterwards. Possibly you're going to go for Mass... No, going for Mass Stumpy. I thought it was going to go for Mass Panther. Or they were going to go for Mass Panther, but no, they're going for Mass Stumpy instead. And that is going to be quite interesting. The zoos, however, do counter vehicles pretty heavily. But the vehicles should be able to counter the the Peewees. And the hammers, not so much. But the Peewees, yes. Hammers, not really. But yeah, get enough Stumpies. That might be able to do the trick. The operative word being enough, and it's going to come down to local advantage. At this point, reinforcements are incoming for common player. And once the reinforcements come in, they are trying to harass around. Luffle does not do anything built up over on the west side of the map. They Luffle is basically living off reclaim. And actually is accessing at this point. Common player with less metal without the reclaim, but still. That reclaim, that's all that Luffle has. That's being pushed into Stumpies right now, and... That's all that can be done, really. Reclaim as best as possible. Building a second cape or another K-Bot lab. Getting back into K-Bot lab and an airplane plant with some Freedom Fighters coming in here just in case for Common Player just to seal the deal. Like I said, Common Player has won the game already, but allow these Stumpies to build it up. And like I said, it is Common Player's game to lose. At this point, Common Player is no nearer to losing it than they were before. But the box is doing some really... Oh, wow, that's nice crowd control. Very nice crowd control. Taking out those Peewees, or at least heavily damaging them. Forcing a retreat off them, but that's a lot of Stumpies that died. That did not need to happen. There should be a group of Stumpies. We're seeing Hammers coming on top of the Stumpies. The Hammers and Stumpies are coming together. But even then, it's just between that and the Rocco Hammer combo, a Rocco Peewee combo coming in. Not a whole lot can be done here. There's, it's... Given the economic disadvantage, it's hard to say. At this point, there is some stalling. The three factories here are a bit too much for common players' economy. It's like... It does work out, I think, to about 10 metal per factory, much like in 0k. Uh, it's not exactly, because the factories don't quite... They don't exactly use... Oh, for goodness sakes. I guess I can't do that. Oh, right, I have to actually select player first. Yeah, it's about... It is, on average, about 10 from the looks of it. So right now, Luffle can support two factories, and common player can indeed just... Cannot quite support three, because we're two and a half. However, once again, these... Stumpy's coming in and not doing much, and that box of death is really the only advantage at all that exists for Leffel at this point. And the harassment coming on the south side, these Peewees, I think, are going to win the game. I know I keep saying that. They're going to win the game. But yeah, I think this is actually going to seal it, because they're coming around. The missiles aren't killing them in time. They're not even hitting in all cases. So this frontal assault is basically a distraction while Leffel goes round back. I mean, sorry, common player goes round back and moves to take out the tower... Possibly. No, moves to take out Metal Extraction instead. Really should take out the tower. They have more than enough Peewees to deal with. A common player could win the game outright right now. Luffel is so far behind that I don't think there's any way that Luffel can actually get back in the game. I don't know if there's any mechanic in Nauta that allows Luffel to get back in the game. That box of death was a really good idea. Good for crowd control. But even then, I don't think there's much of anything. And at this point, yeah, this is just in case the tower can't be killed. But honestly, the tower can be killed. The tower is dead. There are 23 Peewees. The tower is dead. Though, this nice... Bo oh! Not a bad placement for the box of death. Should be able to get a shot off before anything actually kills it. But these aren't really positioned well for that to happen. Nope! Okay. Anyway, the... Well, the army from the front here for... For common player, like I said, it's done. Surprisingly, the Peewees are not being used to kill the tower. They can kill the tower. A like, common player has been playing very passively, and while it's not necessarily a bad idea to make sure you don't die, I don't see the point. Common player could have won a little while. It could have won about five minutes ago, actually. And that wasn't all in. I mean, common player did counter an all-in attack from Leffel. Which failed and thus cost Leffel the game. So that that is game, and common player could right now, with all these Peewees, take out the tower. But common player, looks like they are deciding to go in for the kill. They are finally deciding to go in, 
take everything out, and I'm a bit surprised Luffle has not simply surrendered at this point. But it looks like it is going to be... It's going to be game. Kind of sucks, because I would have liked to see Luffle play a bit better, but... At the same time... That's kind of risky strategy, but I am surprised that Luffle didn't just try to push in. I mean, point of the friendly, friendly fire before, and the chat is pointing out, or did point out, a while ago, that the factory would have been a good thing to hit. Like, just go next to the factory, have the missiles hit the factory, and that would have killed it by friendly fire. And that would have sealed it. That would have won Luffle the game. But instead, Luffle lost the game. Because Luffle didn't do that, Luffle didn't really push in. Luffle, I don't think, realized necessarily how much of an all-in they were doing, and how much they really had to deal the damage they needed to deal. Like I said, a dozen Peewees would have been enough. Even the six they had would have been enough to deal a fair amount of harassment. I guess six or so just deal the harassment damage, but that's... that's game. That's it. So, Leffel has lost common player, moving on to fight against Daniil Kalina in the Losers Finals on Tundra, which will be up in a moment. Not entirely sure when. Probably very shortly. I don't even know if I'll, I'll need an intermission between the two because it's going to be pretty close.